Hello, my name is Leo, and today I will be professionally teaching you how to draw The Simpsons. Alright, so you're gonna wanna open your drawing software, and you're gonna wanna pick the brush tool and get a pretty, um, pretty thick brush. I'm, I'm doing this all from memory, I haven't seen a picture of The Simpsons in a while, so... Uh, please don't bully me in the comments if it's not perfect. Uh, I professionally draw The Simpsons for a living. So the first Simpson we're gonna do is the big boy, the the man in the house, uh, Homer Homer Simpson. So you wanna start uh, with the eyes. Those are the window to the soul. Uh, he has like a beard thing, I think. So this is what Homer Simpson looks like. Um, if oh, by the way, if you can't if you can't keep up with this. Uh, it's fine, like, uh, like, if you're, like, a beginner and you're having trouble keeping up, don't worry about it, you know, it's just art, it's just supposed to be fun. Don't stress if you can't get to the same level of expertise as I'm at right now. So we're gonna draw the top of Homer's head. This is looking pretty good so far, I think. I think I remember Homer Simpson, he has little, little arches on his head, those are, those are to represent hair. I'm not really liking his mouth, I think I'm gonna change it to, like, a... A happy mouth. That looks pretty good. Um, he also has zigzags on the side of his head. I also think he has eyebrows. Yep. Next, we're gonna draw the body of Homer Simpson. And as you know, Homer Simpson's pretty a uh, pretty big boy. Pretty, he's pretty large. So we're just gonna get right into it. So you wanna draw a big circle, and you wanna put his arms in there. So the basic way to draw Simpson arms is you wanna do like a like a that that shape, then do this. You want to draw it like that, then you draw the other arm on the other side of the body. Most people have two arms, one on each side of their body, so that's an important thing to remember when drawing people, uh, is that they have two arms. Do not forget to draw the other arm. This is a big mistake I make sometimes, is I forget to draw the other arm. Uh, but just stay conscious and don't forget to draw that other arm, okay? Remember, people have two arms. Right now we're gonna draw the, the pants, so the belt goes there, and I'm gonna draw his legs. A really, a really easy way to draw legs is just do the the L technique, like I just showed you right there. It's quick and dirty, and people, you can tell those are legs. You know, you don't really need to go that into detail. And now we're gonna color them in. You want to use the classic Simpsons yellow, and get your paint uh, bucket tool and just paint him in a bit. And you can see here, uh, yellow went onto his shirt, but that's fine. You know, we we just like we like to call those happy little mistakes. They happen, it's whatever. The next Simpson we're gonna draw is uh, the, the, the the baby one. Maggie is a very interesting character because she's a baby. That's pretty interesting, right? It's There's some people who claim they remember being born and like being in the womb and stuff. I doubt it, sweetie. So as you can see here, I've started with a simple uh, spiky spiky head shape. And then we're gonna do the, the eyes. So you just want to do two little circles with dots, and that's how you draw eyeballs. That's the simple Simpson style. Then you want to draw the nose. And then she also has like a pacifier thing she has. She's always getting that good suck. And the rest of her body is just like a tube, and they just carry her around and stuff. And that's pretty much the simple way to draw Maggie the baby. Okay. The next Simpson we're going to draw is Mo. And Mo has always been an interesting character to me because um I just like the way I like the shape of his body. Curls on the top of his head and he's always angry. He's like, ooh, I'm angry, I'm Mo, I I run a bar. Grr. And his um I think he has a, like lips that are like like that. This looks pretty accurate so far, I think. I'll draw I'll I'll put a little table here and a, a little beer. And he's like, drink up, drink up or get out. And then Simpson Yellow. And that's Mo, that's Mo for you. Uh Principal Skinner. Principal Skinner will be the next Simpson we draw. See, he's flawless what I'm doing to get his basic hair shape you just need to kind of squiggle like that his eyes again do the classic circle dot circle dot technique and so principal Skinner he wears um a suit because he's the principal you know he's the he's the man of the school so you want to draw his little tie let's make him angry because you know he has to be at, at a school all day with Bart Simpson what a what, what, a, what a troublemaker that boy is Whoop. And there we go. That's that's how you draw Principal Skinner. Now let's draw Bart Simpson. All right, to draw um to draw Bart, it's pretty simple. You just want to do a uh, classic spike technique. You know, we learned this in first grade. You just go boop 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 boop. Simple zigzag. Simple classic Matt Groening art style right there. And he's a little bit of a troublemaker, so we'll put like a little like a like a mmm like a that that kind of that kind of face like the little 
a little smirk on him because you know he's up to no good and then this is this is bart simpson and, you know bart's always up to no good so let's just draw him with a little a little gun i don't know what he's planning to do with it you know <laughs> silly bart eat my shorts man he's such he's just such a he's such a likable character you know he's so relatable next character we're gonna draw is bart's best friend millhouse he's a nerd so he wears glasses I can't really remember what his hair is supposed to be like. I think it's like a like a swoop thing or something. Oh, and then he like a, he has like a really big nose. I remember that. The blue represents the sadness he feels on the inside because uh, his parents have marriage issues or something. The glasses represent his difficulty seeing the truth in the world. Uh, his big nose uh, represents that there's some he's he's sniffing out something fishy. So that's what the artist's purpose is for drawing Millhouse this way. His, his little boy body. So that's how you draw Millhouse. Let's draw Mr. Burns. So Mr. Burns is actually a pretty simple character. All you need to know about him is that he's old and evil. So just draw an old evil person and that's how you draw Mr. Burns. He's he's old so he has wrinkles. And he says his cla classic uh, catchphrase, excellent. And he has his hands together. Yeah, that's how you draw Mr. Burns right there. Well, what will that Mr. Burns do next? Like, he's gonna burn down the forest for money. <laughs> that's my guy right there. All right, now let's draw a little bit of a more difficult character. We're gonna go, uh, draw Marge Simpson. Uh, she has very long hair and you see this is really this is really looking like a person and she also has uh, eyelashes because she's a woman very important to remember when drawing women they always have eyelashes she has arms remember remember don't forget that second arm women have two arms just like anyone else and basically how you draw Marge Simpson right there Homer's a Homer's a lucky man right except we're gonna draw I think we're gonna finish up this video by drawing uh, Le Lisa Simpson Lisa is the brain, the brain of the group. She's like, I know the answer to this math problem. So basically, you just want to do the same thing you did for Maggie's head. You draw some spikes, and you draw eyeballs. Remember, she's a girl, so put those eyelashes on. And then you draw that. And she likes playing uh, the saxophone. So we're going to give her a saxophone. And we're going to give her arms to go like that, because she's playing the saxophone. Oops, that's fine. So yeah, so that's pretty much how you draw The Simpsons.